It's easy to use your ePortfolio, whether it is to add sections, pages, or even modules. First, you must understand that your ePortfolio has sections, and within those sections, you'll find pages, which are on the left side, and within those pages, you'll find modules. Now, there are different kinds of modules depending on what you'd like to add. Let's say, for example, this. As you can see, there is a video here and there's also text. If you'd like to add something more, click on Add a Module. Now, if you're going to add an image or a video or audio, you should use the first one, image slash video slash audio. If you're going to upload text or a Word document, you should use the rich text module. If you're going to upload a series of pictures, you could use the gallery module which allows you to post more than one picture. Now, let's start off with the image video slash audio. Click on it, and now click on add this module. Perfect. As you can see, we've added the module, now we have to replace the media. So, let's click on replace this media now you can choose a file from your computer or from the web. If you're choosing one from your computer, just click on Choose File, browse your computer, click on Open, and that's it. If you'd like to upload something from Media, click on Media from the web. For example, if you're using YouTube, click on YouTube, then go to YouTube page, Search for the video, let's say, Brief History of Religion and Art. Click on the video, and now click on Share, scroll down and click on Embed. Now you will copy this and paste it right here and then click on done as you can see we've uploaded a video now it's important that you click on publish publish changes now your video has been saved if you have questions on how to use ePortfolio for teaching and learning, please contact our eTurn team at 914-323-1318.